LSIS USA's Technical Training Department presents H100 Keypad Navigation. In this video, we will demonstrate how to navigate the H100 Keypad. This includes navigating the parameter groups, changing parameters, changing a local speed reference, and checking basic monitors. These instructions will be helpful for anyone who works with the LS H100 VFD. The H100 is LSIS's HVAC fan and pump drive. Many of the parameter functions and features are beneficial for fan and pump applications and include industry jargon which makes the VFD easy for anyone to program. One of the features on this VFD which is exclusive to the H100 is the Hand Off Auto Keypad. This HOA keypad provides the operator an easy way to switch from a BAS or DDC control system, which would be the auto mode, to a local hand mode which uses the keypad only for controlling the motor. Before we get into parameter changes, let's first look at how hand operation works. By pressing the hand key, you will see FWD display at the top of the keypad. This shows that you are in forward operation. Next, we need to give a speed reference. Let's put in 5 Hz so that we can check motor direction. Move the cursor over by pressing the left arrow until you highlight the 1's place digit, and then press the up arrow to increase the speed to 5 Hz. There is no need to press the enter key as the speed change in hand will apply immediately. Check your motor direction. If the motor direction is backward, put power down the VFD and swap any two motor leads on the output of the VFD. Perform the same hand operation test again to verify direction is correct. To stop operation, simply press the off key. Notice that you will see your output speed in the top right corner decrease as the VFD decelerates. Now let's talk about the auto mode. When you press the auto key, by default you should see TK on the top of the display. This means terminal start command and keypad frequency reference. Auto mode typically refers to controls from an automated system such as a DDC or a BAS. Let's look at how you would program the VFD to look at a hardwired run command and a 0 to 10 voltage source for speed control. Pressing the mode key will change the keypad's mode to the parameter display. We can see this because PAR is displayed in the top left corner. To the right of PAR is the parameter group. Here we see DRV. Pressing the right arrow, you will see a number of other groups, BAS, ADV, and others. These parameter groups are broken down into an easy to remember order. Most common parameters are set in the DRV and BAS group. For a full list of parameter groups and settings, refer to the full H100 user manual. Press the left or right arrows in the parameter mode to get back to the DRV group. Now press your down arrow until you arrive at parameter 6. This is your run command source. We can see here that the setting is FXRX1, and this means that the VFD is going to look at digital inputs which are programmed for FX and RX, FX being forward and RX being reverse. By default, P1 is your forward run. We will leave this setting here since this is how we want to set it for a hardwired start. Press your down arrow once more to display parameter 7. This is your frequency reference source. Press your program enter key to begin making a change. We mentioned that we need to control our speed from a 0 to 10 voltage source. On the H100 drive that would be wired up to terminal V1. So press your down arrow to select V1 and press the program enter key to make the change. Now before we check our auto operation, let's check another important parameter. Press the right arrow to go to the BAS group. BAS stands for basic parameters. Press down until you get to setting 13, rated current. This is where you need to set the motor's full load amps based on the motor name plate data. Our motor here is 1.9 amps at 230 volts. Press the program and enter key and use the arrows to adjust the setting to your motor FLA. Then press the enter key once you have it set. This setting is important as it sets the overload level to protect your application and the motor itself. Press the escape key a few times to go back to the main monitor display. Now we can press the auto key 
and see that at the top of the display it says TV. This means terminal start and voltage source speed control. Your speed reference will change as the signal varies from 0 to 10 BDC. We can start the VFD in auto by flipping a switch or closing a dry contact which is wired up to terminal P1. You will now see the frequency and voltage begin to ramp up. We can also see the amperage that the motor is drawing. There are a couple of other keypad modes you may find useful on the H100. Press mode two times to go past the parameter group and into the trip group. This is designated TRP in the top left. Here you can see the five most recent trips that the VFD has recorded. This mode is an excellent tool for troubleshooting. If you do not have a trip mode, this simply means that the VFD has never tripped out or that all previous trips have been cleared. Pressing your mode key again will display the configuration mode. This is designated CNF in the top left. Here you will find information such as VFD firmware versions, contrast settings, custom display options, and much more. And pressing mode once more returns you to the main monitor display. Thank you for watching this training video. For any technical questions, please call or email us via the methods listed here.